that's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional again. I don't so think this law of disguise is fooling anyone. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? Do you think this is a fantasy? It's my hair for if you want. Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. Hey, Arthur! What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. <clears throat> Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, follow me. Yeah. Same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. 
Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Hold on, now. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured... They all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. Well, what do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know. I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, we rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valen's coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that, what little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk, and before you say it, I know, takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Good morning. Hello. Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Easy. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Hello, boy. Hey, boy. Go to work. 
course. Follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? So which one? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. Would you care to? I'm a child, and if I don't want to go back to the workhouse. God damn hands up! This is a goddamn free. Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. The door's unlocked. Oh, oh you think oh, we're here? No, 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 no. Oh, Open oh, the goddamn vault! Oh, oh, open it! Oh, oh. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay, okay. Don't make me hurt you. Hurry up. Uh, Hurry up! I... I'm going as fast as I can. himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but uh, you better be quick. <laughs> You shut the hell up and stay still! I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. I'll keep a lookout at the door. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. <laughs> I 
That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> Shit, hurry up! I heard, go on! Do. I don't know. Give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What, are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry.
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> uh, well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. Yep. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
best go for. Good evening, Arthur. Good evening. You got a good head on your shoulders. I do. And that's half the battle in this line of work. Okay, Arthur. Okay, boy. Come here. Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Ever try this with a hatchet? Just fingers, right? Your streak's gonna break. Don't you worry. I'll be there to wipe up the tears. gonna turn us in, are you? <laughs> Evening. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. If you do, you make sure you tell us, okay? See ya, Arthur. Oh, 
seems quiet, Charles. You've been taking good care of that horse. Hard to believe you've only been with us for less than a year. A lot's happened. Well, stick with us. We need you. Hello again, sir. <gasps> oh my, you are a bad person. That's the man there. Thank you. Really? That's so. I won't say no more. You can't assign my Keep me here any longer. Get what you want and go. Horse brushes and medicine in the corner over there. If you're the sort who needs that, that kind of thing. Now, let me have a look. Done. Another? Here. Uh-huh. Fine. Here. Yours. Fine. Again? Okay. Stocking up. Again? Okay. Anything else? Really? Fine, I'll wait. Ah.
Now get out, get out, get out. trouble. No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. <laughs> no. Didn't you just leave? Oh, okay, sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. Sold. How's your friend getting on? His new clothes. Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion, but each to their own, I suppose. I'd be very surprised if you had a lady. I'd be very surprised if you had a lady, my friend. Well, uh, well, not right now, but I've had my share. Anyway. Thank you. You know me, I'm on official business for the family. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going.
We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you ought to let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, and maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy there. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. That's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Come is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. 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 Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. Ah. You try, you try. Oh. Oh. His philosophy hey. dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. I 
Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, well, you always were. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. America, but a land of the future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Valentine, read all about it. 
Back again? Oh, that's the whole range. Done. That's it for now. in the little friendly competition you a shooting man I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one huh. yet what'd you well, say we find out good whoever shoots the most bottles wins okay all right all right stand alongside me as soon as you pull your weapon to name we let fly okay go Guess that explains it. I'm brand new. It's hard lines, partner. Here's an idea. What do you say we raise the stakes? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me. We'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see him, stop shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. You got a damn good shot, mister. Here you go. As promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may... Hold back. Okay, fella. Yeah.
Greetings, my boy. Heard about the bank in Valentine? Yeah, sounds like it went very well. Good work, Arthur. Uh, Bill, Karen, and Lenny put it together. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello then. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. 
You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. 
I wanted more, but not that considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about insuring one more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now, come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, and chill up. I'll have one, Bill. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift. That's some strong stuff. Just keep them coming. See if we'll catch us all. We'll drink up. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Another bottle, Benton. These men are dry. Don't be shy, boys. Where's my Don't man? Don't be shy. It's the land of opportunity. Now it's your fine man, man. You're a fine man, Fitz. You're a fine man. Don't listen to your brother. We got work to do. Over here, here Fitz. Go.
Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no. coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. <laughs> never to take up a career in, what was it advertising yeah. you think that woman set us up no I don't think so maybe this place is odd yeah. I keep seeing those fellas some local militia clearly not too happy to have some new competition I'll go visit old my Braithwaite see what's what why we've been making money the chest is filling up again slowly but surely Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, 
Let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states. The last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other. I'd like to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell and at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Evening. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Because we are here yeah. today for a very special yeah. occasion. Oh. It is imperative ah. that we re
reestablish sanity and yeah. supremacy before it is too black. God damn hooded roads. I'll kill all you bastards. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. town and you're helping everybody and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle you know that ain't right Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Passing you. Okay. <laughs>
Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. Let's hitch up here. You can rest now, boy. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. <laughs> a hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't... Nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. Now. Easy. Whoa. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Whoa. Easy. Easy. It's okay. It's okay, boy. <laughs> 
Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Move me around! I said stop these men! Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Hey, hey! You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. 
And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 